If you're still paying for Eleven Labs or using its limited voice credits, hold on. Because what I'm about to show you will blow your mind. This brand new AI text-to-speech tool is 100% free, completely unlimited, and shockingly lifelike. In fact, it's so realistic that it might just make you question everything you thought you knew about voice AI. Whether you're a content creator working on faceless YouTube videos, emotional storytelling, TikTok skits, or podcast dialogue, this tool changes the game. It's capable of not just reading lines, but performing them. We're talking full-blown character acting, emotional tones, laughter, interruptions, even mid-sentence sighs. So if you're ready to level up your content with Hollywood-level voice AI and never pay a cent, stick around because this tutorial will show you exactly how to make it happen. Let's get started. First, do me a favor. Hit the like button, click subscribe, and turn on the notification bells so you don't miss anything from me. All right, let's kick things off by heading to your phone or PC browser. Google Chrome works perfectly, but feel free to use whichever one you like. In the search bar, type Google AI Studio, or if you'd rather skip the search, I've already dropped the direct link for you in the video description below. Once the site loads, log in with your Gmail. You'll notice a clean and straightforward interface. Under the Settings tab, you can switch between Light Mode and Dark Mode. I personally prefer Dark Mode. It's easier on the eyes, so I'll leave that on. Now, if you are using your mobile phone, click on the hamburger menu in the top left corner. This reveals a list of powerful features packed into the tool. Everything from chatting and live streaming to media generation and full documentation. It's impressive, but in this video, we're focusing on just one key feature, native speech generation. Before diving in, make sure your model is set to Gemini 2.5 Pro. Just click on the drop down near the top. You'll see a few other options like Gemini, Gemini 1.5, Flash, and Gemini Lite. But for the best and most expressive voice generation, stick with Gemini 2.5 Pro. Next, click on Native Speech Generation, and you'll be brought to a new interface. Tap on the icon right here, and you'll be prompted to choose between single speaker and multi-speaker. For now, go with single speaker. We'll cover multi-speaker later in a separate video, because trust me, it's a total game changer. Once you enable single speaker mode, you'll see some customization settings including the temperature control. This affects how creative or consistent the output sounds. I usually leave the temperature and other model settings at their default values to start with, but feel free to tweak those later once you're comfortable. Now comes the fun part, choosing your voice. You'll notice a lineup of different voice options, each with its own tone, rhythm, and personality. Let's go ahead and preview a few so you can hear just how dynamic they really are. Ready to build something awesome today? Got a project in mind? What do you want to explore? Ready to make something amazing? What sparks your interest? What kind of masterpiece are we aiming for? Sounds impressive, right? Don't go anywhere because we've only scratched the surface. There's a whole lot more I'm going to show you in this tutorial, and by the end of it, you'll realize how wildly versatile Google AI Studio's text-to-speech really is. This tool doesn't just generate lifeless narration, it can act. One voice can switch between languages on the fly, 
adjust its tone to fit the emotion of the scene, and even replicate accents. That's right. One character, multiple accents, multiple languages, all in one take. It's honestly mind-blowing. For this example, let's go ahead and pick the Oris voice. This one really stands out in terms of clarity, expressiveness, and natural flow. Now, to truly understand how far Google AI Studio has come, and why I believe it's already surpassing Eleven Labs, I'm going to run a little comparison for you. And no, this isn't just about free access or unlimited usage, though that's a massive plus. It's about realism, emotion, nuance, and performance. I already have a short, emotion-rich script ready to go. First, I'll copy it from Google Docs and paste it into Eleven Labs. For the sake of fairness, I'll use one of their most popular voices, Adam. Let's go ahead and generate the speech. Now, listen to that carefully. So I'm rushing out the house, yeah? I grab what I think is deodorant. Turns out it was air freshener. Laughs. I'm walking around smelling like a whole living room for half the day. Sure, it's clean and polished, but did you notice something was missing? The laughter. The pause. The emotional cue. Eleven Labs completely flattens that laugh. It doesn't deliver the emotional beat the script calls for. It just feels... off. And this used to be my go-to tool until I discovered Google AI Studio. So now, let's run the exact same script using Google's native speech generator. No edits, no tweaks, just the same raw input. I'll paste the text, click the Run button, and give it a few moments to process. Sometimes it takes a little longer to generate, but honestly, the result is always worth the wait. A few seconds later... So, I'm rushing out the house, yeah? I grab what I think is deodorant? Turns out, it was air freshener. <laughs> I'm walking around smelling like a whole living room for half the day. Did you hear that? It captured the pacing, the inflection, even the laugh. And it didn't just insert a generic ha-ha sound. It actually performed the laugh in a way that sounded like a real person telling a funny, slightly embarrassing story. That's the kind of nuance that makes a huge difference in storytelling, especially if you're working on faceless YouTube videos, narrative content, or character-based scripts. And here's the best part. As of right now, this tool is 100% free and unlimited. That could change at any moment, so I highly recommend you take advantage of it while you still can. Oh, and one more mind-blowing feature before we move on. With Google AI Studio, the same voice can switch to other languages and even adjust to different accents. That means your content can go global with zero additional voice actors or tools. How cool is that? Before we go any further, let me quickly share a tool I use literally every day, NordVPN. It's not just about staying private online. I use it to access high-quality AI tools like Eleven Labs that are sometimes blocked in my country. One click, and I'm connected to servers in over 60 countries, instantly unlocking platforms I wouldn't normally have access to. It's also perfect for streaming shows and movies that aren't available in my region, and it protects my data from hackers, trackers, or shady public Wi-Fi. Whether I'm testing a new AI tool or just browsing safely, NordVPN has become a must-have for me. If you want the same level of access and protection, hit the link in the description or pinned comment. You'll get over 70% off your plan and way more peace of mind. It's quick, easy, and honestly, totally worth it. All right, let's get back to Google AI Studio. Let's run a quick demonstration so you can experience one of the most impressive features of this tool for yourself. I'm talking about its ability to switch between languages and accents using the same voice. 
Whether it's Spanish, German, Nigerian pidgin, or even a mix of styles, Google AI Studio doesn't just translate, it performs. And the best part? It automatically adapts the pronunciation and inflection to match the language or dialect. You don't need to configure anything manually. To show you exactly what I mean, let's start with something fun and close to home. I'll use a Nigerian pidgin script and run a quick test. But first, let's see how Eleven Labs handles it. I've already copied the pidgin script. I'll paste it into Eleven Labs, select a random voice, and click on Generate. A few seconds later, Guy, make I yarn you one correct Tory way go scatter your head. You fit call him premium gist. So this guy from my area, him just stay carry shoulder like say na him papa get the whole street. Any small thing, he go wear shades even for night. They now, if you're Nigerian or familiar with Pigeon, you probably winced a little. That delivery was completely off. It sounded robotic, unnatural, and honestly, it butchered the accent. No rhythm, no flavor, no authenticity. This is where Eleven Labs falls flat. It just wasn't designed with multicultural fluency in mind. Now let's try the exact same script inside Google AI Studio. I'll paste it in, keep the Oris voice we've been using, and hit run. A few moments later... Guy, make a yan you want correct to rewe go scatter your head. You fit call him premium gist. So this guy from my area, him just the carry shoulder like say Naim Papa get the whole street. Any small thing, he go wear shades even for night, they walk out like saying be celeb. One day, breeze blow, everywhere scatter. It remains small making secret come out. Now there we know say that packaging full ground, no substance inside. Now that's what I call authenticity. Did you hear how naturally it delivered the rhythm and tone of Nigerian pigeon? The transitions, the flow, the attitude. It captured the vibe perfectly. It didn't just read the words. It performed the character. That alone makes Google AI Studio a powerful tool for creators working with multilingual or culturally diverse scripts. And just to reinforce the point, let's try something completely different. This time, we'll test a Spanish accent. So here's what I did. I opened up ChatGPT, typed in a simple English intro like, Welcome to AI Pipeline. My core strength is to help creators learn how to use AI to create better contents and make money online, and asked for a Spanish translation. Once I got the Spanish version, I went back into Google AI Studio, kept the same Oris voice, pasted in the translated text, and hit run. A few seconds later, it generated this result. Bienvenido a AI Pipeline. Mi principal fortaleza es ayudar a los creadores a aprender a usar la inteligencia artificial para crear mejores contenidos y ganar dinero en línea. Now, I'm not a fluent Spanish speaker, but just by listening, you can tell the accent sounds refined and natural. It doesn't feel robotic or exaggerated. It actually sounds like someone who speaks Spanish natively, or at least fluently. So if you're watching this and you speak Spanish, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and let me know how accurate the accent and pronunciation were. Did it sound native to you, or at least close? Either way, the ability to switch accents and languages seamlessly without needing multiple voices or extra configuration makes Google AI Studio more than just an alternative to Eleven Labs. It's an upgrade in every sense of the word. Based on my experience using this tool, there's a word limit of around 700 words per generation. So, if you're working with a longer script, make sure to split it into chunks of 700 words or less before generating. And here's an important tip. Always listen to the voiceover after it's generated. 
If the tone or delivery doesn't feel quite right, don't hesitate to regenerate it until it matches your vision. Once you're satisfied with the result, downloading your voiceover is simple. Just click on the three-dot icon next to the output, select Download, and the file will automatically be saved to your device. Let me know what you think about this tool down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts or how you plan to use it in your own projects. And hey, if you've made it this far and found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share with someone who might find this just as useful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.